வணக்கம் இது வாஷிங்டன் டிசி ஃபேம் சைட் ஆஃப் த ஹிஸ்டாரிக் டிவி ப்ரோக்ராம் த வெஸ்ட் விங் எவ்ரி ஃபோர் இயர்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் த கேபிட்டல் ஆஃப் த யுனைடெட் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் வேர் அமெரிக்கன்ஸ் கம் டுகெதர் அண்ட் அலெக்ஸ் சம் ஒன் டு டெல் தம் வாட் டு டூ திஸ் இயர் இஸ் அ வெரி ஹிஸ்டாரிக் ஒகேஷன் as americans have vo- decided to vote for their first ever black muslim socialist president and because of this over 3 million people have come down to celebrate this week long occasion consider it like the jagannath festival except with smaller chariots and better traffic this is the jefferson memorial i believe it was built for the inauguration as it is named after barack obama's favorite television program the jeffersons I'm here with Mr. James Elliot. What is your name? Are you kidding me? It's James Elliot, you just said it. <laughs> okay. James Elliot here is in front of the National Archives of America uh-huh. and he does not work here. That, that's right. I'm 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 currently unemployed. He is currently unemployed much like 95% of America. Uh-huh. Why did you come to Washington DC? I just really wanted to see the president. Pratibha Patel Where is she? Uh I'm, I'm not sure who who's that. The president. Don't you want you came to see the president? Oh, we have a different president in this country. Washington DC is a land filled with memorials. I think this is because Americans have a very poor memory of things. Perhaps this is because they eat too much junk food like Cheetos. Although Cheetos are very delicious. What made you come here to Washington DC? Because Obama is like the first black president of the United of the world basic well no <laughs> of the world the first black president of the world okay um so it's like a big thing in history who did you vote for <laughs> uh did you vote for mccain or did you vote for lincoln <laughs> i voted for uh i voted for a guy who i who i best thought would be uh, good for america i voted for uh well it's a secret isn't it it's a secret ballot uh, how's it work in india you tell people uh, who you vote for Yes. I actually I worked for Obama but I did he's not left enough for me so I voted for Cynthia McKinney. <laughs> so who did you vote for? I didn't vote. I couldn't vote here. You I didn't come, vote? I come from Germany. I couldn't vote for the American president. You couldn't vote for Barack Obama? No. Why not? Because I'm a German citizen. Germans aren't allowed to vote for Obama? No, we uh, vote for our own parliament in Germany. Ah, oh, so you voted for someone else. Yeah. Who did you vote for? Obama. I didn't vote. You didn't vote either. This whole generation of American children who aren't voting is very disappointing. So you came from Detroit, Michigan, from the car industry. Did you come to get some of the bailout money? Yes, absolutely bailout money. Of course. We are Boston News and actually acquired some of the bailout money, and we'd like to give it to you oh, awesome. on behalf of Boston News. Yeah. Here is this bailout check provided for Boston News Net. What should we spend this on? Uh hand warmers. I'm hoping that this bailout money includes um forgiveness of student loans. Actually, it's just coupons for Target. Government of the people. Today is a day of Barack Obama's inauguration. It's been a pretty poor turnout, only about 2 million people. It's pretty much what you get on a Calcutta market day. Hopefully more people will come in. We'll see. Today is a very special day for me. When uh, I'm asked the question where was I when President Kennedy was killed, I I can truly say I was 10 years old in the 5th grade. Martin Luther King, I was in the 9th grade. And if they ask me in the future where was I when the first black president was elected and sworn into office, I would gladly and happily say I was there. and it means a lot to me and to also bring my grandkids to be part of history. So you came all the way from Memphis, Tennessee to here? All the way from Memphis, Tennessee. Where are you staying? I'm staying with my uh brother here in uh Maryland. I don't have a place to stay. Can I stay with you? <laughs> I would ask my brother and I'm sure he would make room for you. <laughs> oh great, because JR won't pay for a hotel for me. Truly? No. Oh. He so cheap, you see, he won't even pay for a hotel for me. It's ridiculous. And this is man, he, he just keeps going on about how he won't give me any money and his this trip is not paid for at all and all these things and now he, I don't even know his sister and uh this afternoon. So it's a great moment for you, yes. Yes it is. What do you think Michelle Obama will wear today? 
Hopefully that sexy black and red dress again that she wore the other day. I think she should wear something that, um, well, isn't cold and isn't see-through. What would you like to see her wear? Something conservative. Something conservative. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Not, not democratic? I don't know how you dress democratic or republican. You just dress. Okay. Here in D.C., there's only one porta potty for every 6,000 people. This is unacceptable in India where we can just pee anywhere in the streets. But I'll try to make use of this. I haven't found the other 5,000 people that use this. And the strange thing is that my porta potty doesn't even have a door. We'll figure something out. They're saying here that there's one porta potty for every 6,000 people. Have you found your porta potty? Uh, yes, uh, I have friends here living in Washington and I, uh, we uh, celebrated the inauguration together. I huh. visited some parties. Huh. Which parties did you go to? Oh, those were uh, private parties. Oh. So I couldn't come? No. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I could bring some mixture. It's very tasty. Okay. <laughs> no. okay. So right. what's your name? Uh, Raj Savaraman. Okay, Raj, right, go ahead. What do you got? Uh, so uh, do you have any interesting tips for interviewing? Uh, don't ask open it. Oh, make sure you ask open-ended questions. Don't ask anything, any question where they can say yes or no. You want them to expound. Do you feel that a bicameral legislature is insufficient to represent the needs of American democracy? No comment. Were you at the inauguration? Say that again. Were you at the inauguration? Oh. Yes, I'm a linguist. <laughs> yes, Why did you change your accent? <laughs> what? You just changed your accent. No, I'm Sorry. Indian. I know, but when you were over there, it didn't sound like it. I'm a, I'm a linguist, and I'm very interested. You're saying I'm not Indian? No, no, I'm saying you changed. You, changed you, your have, you have a so-called North American kind of standard English, and you have an Indian English, and you just went into Indian English. I, I came to America, and I speak English. That's right. So... I have no, North American she's, she's English. just trying to po point out the uh, very interesting you, you uh, just, you dynamic just did code of code switching. It. Yeah, I'm an expert in code switching. And yeah, you I'm, not, I'm not a traitor. No. I don't. <laughs> no, no. I'm American. No, no, no. I, I, no, no. I, I believe in America. <laughs> That's why I'm here in D.C. What did you think about Michelle Obama's dress? You know what? We were talking about it last night. I, I thought... <laughs> It it, it it was okay, but you know, it, 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 the color wasn't great for her. It was a little bit uh, pasty. But other than that, it was all right. On a scale of one to D, what would you give it? I would give it a C. What did you think of Michelle Obama's dress? I don't I don't particularly like it. No? Uh, yeah, it's, I it's think all that's right. not an interesting question. How is this interview going? You're doing okay. <laughs> uh, where are you staying? Where am I? I live in D.C., so I'm staying at home. Can I stay with you? I've been sleeping on the mall. Um, I wouldn't mind that so much, but my wife and four daughters may have a problem with that. So I, I can, uh, you know, I have some connections at a hotel. I might be able to call and, you know. Oh, really? Can I stay for free? Because JR won't pay for a hotel for me. Oh, wow. Um, I'll get back to you on that. You see, JR, who is my boss, he won't pay for a hotel for me, so I have to sleep here. <laughs> they did say no tents on the mall. I don't have a tent. I just sleep over in a port -to porta potty. Really? Yeah. That's that's bad. Yeah, that's I bad. think this I is... think uh, that service above and beyond to your company. Where are you staying? We stayed in Georgetown at a college uh, apartment. Yeah. Our We're... daughter's uh, soccer friend from childhood had an apartment, so we rented this little two-bed room, and it was awesome. It was you know we felt like we we're in college again. <laughs> <laughs> and we could walk here, so that was the bonus. Yeah, that we could walk. Um, because I'm actually sleeping on the mall, and I was wondering if I can stay with you. Yeah, we're, we're going home, home actually. Leaving today. Sorry. Also, the room is free. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> well, the dream has finally been achieved, and Barack Obama is finally in his residence, the White House, behind here. If you look really closely up in this window, you can't see him at all. And uh, this is the remnants of the parade grandstand, which would have been a great place to sleep uh, if I had known about it prior to today. Uh, but yes, I've learned a lot over this trip. I've learned that JR is a very cheap man who won't pay for any housing and it's freezing cold out here. And you know, I don't care what you say. This is ridiculous. You can't have someone come all the way out to DC and not pay for lodgings. This is unacceptable. Uh, I was fortunate to find my own porta potty and I, I, I love America. That's all I have to say. And reporting from Washington, D.C., I am looking forward to coming back to sunny Boston. This is Raj Sivaraman.